Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the beta channel of Windows 11 Insider Preview, version 23H2, build 22635.4145, KB5041881. So, without further ado, let's begin. For new PCs or user accounts on managed commercial devices, PCs running Windows 11 Enterprise, Education, or Pro version, logged in with an extra ID will have the Microsoft 365 app pinned to the taskbar, for quick access to Copilot for Microsoft 365. Microsoft has updated the mouse section in the Settings app, to now include the option to turn off Enhanced Mouse Pointer Precision. For those who would prefer not to use it, and have added a new option for changing mouse scrolling direction. The company has also added a new section, for touch screen edge gestures, where you can choose, to disable the left or right screen edge touch gesture. Microsoft is trying out some adjustments to the Windows Spotlight experience on the desktop, to include hotspots, when users right click on the Windows Spotlight icon. In addition, these changes will include two different UX treatments that insiders will notice. There is no change to the interaction model, where a right-click opens the experience in full screen and double-clicking launches the Bing landing page, when in full screen, you will now see two hotspots, which will be animated to aid discovery, which will reveal additional information on hover. Clicking on a hotspot will close the full screen experience and launch the Bing landing page. The company is adding the ability to share content, to Notepad and Clipchamp, directly from the Windows Share window. This feature is gradually being rolled out for the insiders. There are some fixes in this update like Fixed an issue causing File Explorer to crash when navigating to home for some insiders with the two flights. This also led File Explorer to crash on launch. If it opened directly to home. Fixed an issue causing Explorer.exe to crash, when interacting with archive files in the last few flights. The navigation pane does not update, when you browse folders that are in a shell namespace extension. Fixed an issue, where the text might be unreadable in the section of the start menu, with phone link features shown on the side. Your laptop stops responding after you resume it from Hibernate, this occurs if you have closed and opened the lid many times. Pin reset does not work when you select the I forgot my pin link on the credentials screen. Your system might stop responding, when it accesses symbolic links. External devices lose their connection, when you deploy certain Bluetooth policies. The SSO noticed that the European Digital Markets Act requires prompts too often. This occurs when you authenticate, using a certificate. An SCCM task to re-enable UWF fails. Because of a deadlock in UWF, this stops the device from restarting when you expect it. This update brings COSA profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. When a combo box has input focus, a memory leak might occur when you close that window. You might not be able to decrypt a BitLock or data drive, this occurs when you move that drive, from a newer version of Windows to an older version. There is a known issue in this update like, if you click or tap on a letter on the Start Menu's All Apps list, the all apps list may break, if you encounter this issue, please try rebooting or restarting explorer.exe to fix it. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.